What's up, YouTube math world? This is How to Pass the FSA, the fourth grade edition. Today we're working on our third standard today. It's maths.4.oa.1.3, which is lesson three, multi-step problem. All right, Paula. We're not using Paula today, sorry Paula. We are gonna use one of my YouTube and friends, Zeta, because she was like, I saw your videos, thanks for sharing. Zeta, you get put in the problem today, okay? Zeta, she actually goes to my school too, so Zeta. Zeta purchased four DVDs and five CDs and spent between, oh, I need to be doing some of my cubes, four DVDs, five CDs, and spent between, between is a keyword spent between $100 and $120. Each DVD costs the same amount. The price of the CD is $9. Select all amounts that could be the price of the DVD. All right, let's make some sense of this. Okay, so we have four DVDs. I'm going to put them in a DVD box. And we have five CDs. Make them circles, okay? And she spent, when she bought both of these, so adding them together, she spent between $100 and $120, meaning any number in between those two numbers. Each DVD costs the same amount. We don't know how much yet. And the price of the CD is $9. Okay, select all amounts that could be the price of a DVD. Well, for this one, because they give us answers, let's, let's plug them in and see if they work. <clears throat> so, before I plug them in, though, let's, let's represent this using numbers as well as pictures. So, I have four DVDs, 4D plus five CDs equals between, I'm gonna put equals my range, which is 100 to 120 dollars. Okay, we know more though. We know that there are five CDs and each of them costs nine dollars, which equals my range. Okay, which is between $100 and $120. So four DVDs plus $45 equals my range. How did I get 45? Because I multiplied five times nine. And now I can plug in the cost for a DVD. So <clears throat> we know that up here is $45 because nine times five is $45. So let's do 13 times four. 13 times four in the clouds. Four times one is four, plus one is five, 52. 52 dollars plus 45 dollars. Two plus five is seven, five plus four is nine, 97. Does 97 go within our range? Nope, so we can eliminate that one. Do the same thing, plug in 15. 15 times four, Five times four is 20. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. Four times one is four, plus two is six, 60. 60 plus 45. Zero plus five is five. Six plus four is 10. 105, does that fall within our range? Yes, so that's going to be one of the answers because we're selecting all answers because it's a multi-select question. Plugging in 17. 17 times four. four. Seven times four is 28. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. Four plus one is four plus, I'm sorry, four times one is four, plus two is six, 68, plus 45. Eight plus five is 13. And then six plus four is 10, plus one is 11. 113, does that fall within our range? Yes, so 17 is an answer. Let's try 19. I have a feeling 19 is going to be high. 
19 times 4, 36. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, 76. 76 plus my 45. 6 plus 5 is 11. Um, 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 120. And now I am outside of that range. So that's not going to work. And because $19 per DVD is outside, so would 21. That would be outside. So B and C are your answers. Ariel has $62. She is shopping for shirts that cost $12 each. Fox shirts. She writes the following equation to model the situation. $62 total divided by the cost of the shirt equals five remainder two. What does the five represent? In part B, what does the number two represent? So let's look at this. She has, I know usually I say to draw it out for these, but I don't think that we necessarily need to for this one. What does the number five represent? So she has $62 total, total dollars, and she purchases shirts that are $12 each for each shirt. So we're finding how many shirts she can buy. Okay, so she can buy, what does the five represent? She can buy five shirts. So five represents the number of shirts Ariel Ariel can buy or purchase. Um, again, this is an open, I don't think I said this yet, but this is an open response item, so I'm not just putting the answer, I need to respond using words. And I need to make sure I stay within the confines of the box, don't go outside. And again, my work went over here. What does the number two represent? Well, she can buy five shirts total, but then she has a remainder of two. A remainder of two what? Two dollars. The two represents two dollars, oops, remaining after she purchases the five shirts. Um, today's quote is, every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. You want to accomplish something? You want to pass the math FSA? Well, you've made a good start by deciding to come here. But you need to try. Are you trying? Well, I don't know how to multiply very fast. I didn't learn it in third grade when I should have. And it is. I'll just give up. No. Nope. You start to try. You go back. Have you put in the hours necessary to be fluent with your multiplication? Be honest with yourself. You need to start by trying. It's going to take you places in life. Okay? Well, I have bad grades right now, so I'm probably going to fail. Have you tried? You might have to try it harder than others. Me, I wasn't very, I wasn't the smartest one in my class, but nobody was gonna outwork me. I was a hard worker. Have you worked hard? You don't have to be the smartest, but you need to try, okay? You need to do this. You need to start with the decision to try. If you shouldn't, you're in fourth grade now and you miss some stuff that you should have learned in third grade, I've got videos for you, go check them out. You need to start by trying. If you want to accomplish something, you need to start with the step of trying.